Welcome to Dashcam Info. Today we're taking a look at the Arfa. Oh, <laughs> this way. Again, today we're looking at the Arfa E22 as streaming video mirror dashcam. Front records in 1440p and the rear in 1080p. I have it already installed in the car. Today we're taking a look at the unboxing, the installation, of course the app, and yes, this one is app enabled. And of course I show you footage by day and also by night. As we open the box, the first thing we see is our mirror dash cam. Underneath we find a cleaning cloth and a set of rubber straps. The rear view camera comes attached to a very long cable. And here's a second set of rubber straps. This one is a bit shorter in case the mirror where you want to affix it is smaller. And here's the power cable to source our mirror dash cam. It is directly connected to a relatively large adapter. We got tools and hooks for cable management, a very curious cat, the manual, and an optional anti-glare adhesive film that would go over the mirror. When we're taking the mirror out of the package, we can see that the front-facing camera is adjustable. Before installing our mirror dash cam, we have to insert the micro SD card and connect our cables because everything is on top. After inserting the micro SD card, I wanted to connect the rubber straps that I wanted to slide later on over the mirror. Next I connected the rear view camera and then I inserted the power cable into the mini USB port. First I was sliding the right side of the mirror dash cam over my mirror and then I understood that it was easier to detach the rubber hook on the other side to route it around my mirror and to reconnect it to the hook of the mirror dash cam. Now I plugged in the power adapter and I saw the welcoming screen at the Alpha mirror dash cam. I had to choose a language. I was asked to format my memory card and select the date and time. Since this is a touch screen, you simply swipe up and down to change your settings. Now of course, this all can be done later on with a simple tap on the gear wheel. You can change all settings here, but I wanted to test the app, so I turned on the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. With the Wi-Fi on, I went to my phone settings and connected to the E22 network. The top secret passcode here was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Once connected, I opened the Arfa app and hit check real-time video. If you don't have the app, you can simply scan the QR code in the manual. To enter the settings, stop recording and tap on the gear wheel top right. Everything here is self-explaining and straightforward. Settings are very easy to change. Coming back to the main menu, I tapped on display mode to change what I see in the mirror. I wanted to see the rear view camera. And now I want to show you footage by day. Front 1440p, rear 1080p. Now let's take a look at footage by night. Again, front 1440p 
and the rear 1080p. After watching the review, what are your thoughts on the Arfa E22 mirror dash cam? I'd like to know from you if this is something you would consider in your own car. Also, if you have questions about the installation or about anything, I'm happy to respond. You know, a free way to support my channel would be to leave a like. And if you like this channel overall, please consider to subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Till the next time, stay safe, stay tuned and take care. Bye for now.